Stop the music today. Today we've got to go on the air. It's eight out of the hour six. We've got to go on the air immediately. We'll enjoy the music another day because if you've ever wondered, and there are those that say, ah, this and this. Listen, whether you like it or not, Kaiser Chiefs are the heartbeat of all things football in this country. They're the biggest team in this country by far. Whether we like it or not, whether you like them or not, they are that exactly. And you don't know this until you see their website crash within seconds of announcing a coach. Welcome to the Sports Are Amplified with Andy. Le- I am Andy Lengube. It's 8 after the hour 6. Gimenge nya when I'm plunge. I'm standing. Because today we're going to open lines for you from the get-go. We want your reactions. The Kaiser Chiefs coach, your thoughts as a Corsi Nation. Pro Pilan is with me. He's going to give us a little bit more details of the new structure at Kaiser Chiefs. The two assistant coaches and what the... Uh, the team has said about the new structure there as well. Then we'll open it up to you. A little bit later on, we'll cover all the announcements that have been made as far as um, uh, uh, the transfers and different teams are concerned. But from top of the hour, it's all to you. 086-000-2160. Say that number again. 086-000-2160. No one saw it coming. No one can say, yeah, we saw this one coming. We didn't even see it coming. Mulefenseki is the Kaiser Chiefs coach. Mulefenteki is the new Kaiser Chiefs head coach. The announcement made by Kaiser Chiefs just about uh, 10 minutes ago now. What are your thoughts? Give us a call right now. Let's take a break now so we can come back. Pilano will give us more details as to what the assistant staff looks like and the rest of the technical team. Then it's just over to you. We take your calls. We take your reactions. I can tell you now that they're listening. They'd love to hear from you. Congratulations, Coach Nseki. Congratulations on such a huge appointment of being at the helm of an institution in South African football and South African sport. We wish you the very best of luck at Sports That Amplified with Andy. It's 12 after the R6 on uh, Sports That Amplified with Andy on the Mighty Metro FM. I am Andy Lengube. Breaking news. Kaiser Chiefs have appointed a new coach. It came about uh, 15 minutes ago now. They announced the coach, Mule Fenteki, will be at the helm of Amakosi in the coming season. Pro Pilane is with us. Pro, no one can say they saw this one coming. No one could, Andy. Good evening to you. And good evening to all the listeners of this number one sports show in South Africa. Let's get straight into it. What is the announcement by Kaiser Chiefs? He's the head coach. Do we know how long his contract is for? Do we know who's going to be his assistants? We know for sure that uh, his assistants uh, are going to be Dylan Shepard and the former head coach, Uata Zwane. Uh, I think Kaiser Chiefs are looking for consistency here and they're looking for continuity uh, purely because the three the three gentlemen have been working together since the appointment of Arthur Zwane as the head coach. And now that uh, Arthur Zwane has been demoted to, to, to assistant coach, I think um, the, the Kaiser Chiefs management might have thought who took more than he has been around with Kaiser Chiefs this team for, for, for quite some time and uh, they might hit the ground running, uh, the three of them. So as we know it now, and as the new system is, the former coach in Arthur Zwane remains part of the technical team as an assistant coach, basically going back to his old position. Dylan Shepard keeps his position, and then you have the head coach now being Mule Finteki. Do we know how long that contract is? Well, uh, uh, unfortunately, I haven't been uh, exposed to that information, how long the contract is, but uh, from the statement, from what I read from the statement, you said uh, he's, uh, he's taking over immediately. But uh, before the end of the show, put Andy Lee, I'll definitely let you know how long the contract is. Well, we're keeping you on the line because we want to take the reactions immediately fresh from all the Amakosi faithfuls. Uh, we'd love to know what your thoughts are. Pro Pilani will be staying with us as the story is unfolding. He's on the show, but also on his phone, you know, calling different people, looking up different information uh, at uh, we're going to go to Opta Jabu as well at some point because Opta Jabu, you know, hopefully if we're able to before the end of the show, we'll be able to give us Mule Finteki's stats as a head coach um, and everything that he's done as a head coach and his career stats as well. But let's take to the lines because this is your team. This is your announcement. I'd love to know. Hear your excitement if you're excited. Hear, you know, what your thoughts are, whatever it is that might be on 86 Let's go to Kundani. Kundani's out in Durban. Kundani. Hello, how are you? Hey, you're right, man. Talk to me. Right, right. Well, I think uh, <laughs> I think he's a very good, a good decision. Mm. Yeah, because, you know, uh, bringing maybe with his uh, technical team, it is going to cost him a lot of money because they have to pay Zwane and Shepard. They are remaining contracts. 
So you think it was just a money thing? Yeah, it's a money thing because remember, Bonnetu has two year contract in which if Levy is coming with, the, with his technical team, they still have their own demand. All so right. I think it's, it's a good decision for whatever team. Is it a good decision for football at Kaiser Chiefs or it's a good financial decision for Kaiser Chiefs? Good financial decision. And as a, for football, for winning trophies, for getting a strong team? Uh, about that, we'll see next season. But I think uh, Munese uh, is better. He will be better than Zwane. All right, uh, Kundani out in Durban. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Let's go to MXO. He's out in Whitbank. Mm-hmm. MXO, Kaiser Chiefs of a head coach. Mule Fintseki has been appointed. Oh, MXO there. Have we lost him? We have lost MXO. Let's go to Lunga. Lunga's in Ruhr Report. Lunga, Kaiser Chiefs, new head coach, Muli Uh Good morning. Good, mo- hey. good, uh, good evening, Andy. Yeah, but nah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm at the website, Jackie Krishilos. Yeah. I have been very to Osazong Shenga and Dile. Ma, ah, ma, we cheese in the Arsenal, but the Arsenal is a man, I'm as cool many kids today. I'm telling you. Andile, uh, for me, uh, for once, maybe the Chiefs family must just coach the team themselves. Why? What's wrong with Malifi? No, bro. Like, uh, I don't know. Nah. He doesn't have any credentials. Nothing whatsoever. He bro. coached Bafana like, Bafana. I win him. He was in charge for 20 months, nine matches. He won four of those. He's got a win rate <laughs> of 44% at Bafana Bafana level. <laughs> I have a to say to you, if we have uh, good uh, credentials in a in certain position, just stay there. You get my point. You know, like if you are good with uh, developing developing kids or other structure, that's just stay there. I, for for coaching uh, a team like uh, Kaiser Chiefs, uh, Kaiser Chiefs management should do better. Honestly speaking, um, I know another year of drought. Thank you, Ma. Lunga, out in Red Report, I appreciate it. I know this call would come. I was waiting for it. It's Jimmy Mokomakao. Jimmy, here it is. Kaiser Chiefs, they've appointed a new coach. Muli Finteki is your head coach. Ah, we didn't see this coming. Mazola, oh God, we didn't see this coming. Mazola, I'm going to go to the show. I'm going to go to the show. Well, I mean, I, I, I can, to defend Mazola, you know, the conversation with Coach Nabi was one that went on for a very long time till, you know, the two parties couldn't find each other. You know, so uh, there, there was that conversation. And when he was here on Monday, he did say, there's no update. I know nothing new. Uh, but yeah, Muli Finteki, he's that man. None of us saw it coming. Hey, I'm sure Thank you so much, Jimmy. Come Macau. Where's the excitement for your new coach? Where's the excitement for the season that's coming? Come on, Makus. Sia is out in PE. Sia, now Zindab. Um, good evening, Andy, and 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 your guest, Uko. Um, mm. Andy, I think Kaiser Chiefs is done with, with football. Um, they are just there to PSL, Uko Kappa, and make as much money as, as they can. Kaiser Chiefs had a chance to bring a winning coach and make good football decisions, but they decided that now. We are fine with not winning anything. Um, he said he has never won anything. Uh, you know, he does not have a trophy <clears throat> as a coach. So why would you bring a coach like that after you've made so many mistakes with Abo Compella, Abo Lindendorf, and others, Abo Solinas? Kaiser are people making the same, the same mistakes that they've been making. And, and I do not see any, you know, any progress. That that will happen at Kaiser Chiefs next season, and I don't even see him take finishing his contract. And I don't think there's any Kaiser Chiefs supporter who is happy when it comes to football. Yes, Kaiser Chiefs might be saving money, but but football wise, I don't think there's. But any see, Kaiser Chiefs uh, there's supporter there's there. continuity as well. You get to keep Athazwane in the assistant position, which means whatever he was building on can continue. Building what? What what was I? Oh, see, I first coach to, to, to have a, a, a negative goal to friend. What is Kaiser Chiefs building there? Umulet said he was there as well. 
I don't know whether he was assisting Natal Zuhane or not, but he was there. So what are they thinking? Kind of management is destroying their team, and, and that's all. Now as a support, I am done with them. I've been a supporter since 1988. I am done with them. Thanks, See ya, out in Port Elizabeth. Let me take a break. These lines aren't sounding great either, uh, Timmy. Let's perhaps uh, uh, try work on something. But uh, Mandila, I can deep slow at C point. Sashanguve, Jason in Binoni. I see you, Victor in Pretoria. We're taking your calls next. 086-000-2160. Breaking news. Kaiser Chiefs have crashed the internet. They've announced their head coach. Mule Finteki will be taking over. And his two assistants are going to be the assistants that were there before when Stewart was there, you've got Dylan Shepard and you've got the former head coach, Arthur Zwani, assisting him. 24 after the hour six, mark this day in the history. Kaiser Chiefs have made an appointment, yet another local coach. Mule Finseki is the new head coach of Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, Pro, we still got you on the line, of course. Pro, just to re- reiterate again, he's the head coach assisted by who? Yeah, Mule Finseki is the new head coach of Kaiser Chiefs the seventh coach in the last five years. He'll be assisted by Atta Zwane and Dylan Shepard. The technical team for Kaiser Chiefs this season, that's who is going to be alongside, of course, the brand new Kappa wear as well. Let's go to Victor out in Pretoria. Victor. Uh, ma- ma- ah. Talk to me. <laughs> uh, Nagar as a Sandal supporter, eh? Mm. No, what are no shows? Chiefs will never win the league, will never win anything. Like, I was hoping that they will hire this Nabi guy. Come on. Nabi, yeah. Nazardine yeah, Nabi. Yeah, man. Can, what happened? Got the deal. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to speak to Mazola Mule for now as well because, I mean, he's been following up that story. So, hey, what happened? What went wrong with that story? So, I'll get him on the line in a few seconds. Nabi. Hi, Victor, out in Pretoria. We're not a and I don't even know why you're, you're phoning here. Bye bye, X Ryan. He's gone. He's out of here. Uh, Mandilake is out in Deep Slot. Mandilake. Eh, Putan, you're going to go. Jana, Bendilinde, like a call. Talk to me. Eh, and the answer about this bag, because lately my phone is a problem, Yana, but I think our biggest problem now, Guzoba. No, just to have Waters one and Dillon Shepard, we're supposed to move on. So in Mali, as Abazoi Luda, if they are think they are saving by by keeping Waters one and Dillon Shepard, Bazo lose the money. I'm a cabs wonke. They will lose support. It will decline to people who are buying their cases, and it will take many many years to revive cases at his again. Hmm. So I I I think I don't think. It, but they're killing all of that because now they were supposed to come with a coach on a pedigree a coach or but how do, you, how, do, how do we argue a pedigree of a coach man anyway, like i don't have a problem with listening to you but you obviously do man like but 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 listen coach, no but 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 you obviously have a, an issue if you're going to say you know they're going to lose credibility. And how do we how do we not say Mule Fenseki has got pedigree when Mule Fenseki has even coached the national team of South Africa? Ah, uh, but but then he coached a team wins and like but he didn't even coach for for a long time there. We 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 go suffer and he failed like this man. So so that, that that's not I don't have a problem with his appointment as well. Like I I can I can live with that. But uh is in the what has won the last season, um the Bulenega cool case achieves like favoritism, they I don't think we are far far behind in quality like everyone is saying, but uh what has won I proved to me last season which I know. His technical principles. In terms of coaching, he's our left hand. We love him, but in terms of coaching, he's a Bulali team. And if we are that loyal to him, instead of moving on, I will catch up after 2010 years. Hmm. Mandilaka, I appreciate you. I think we need to get our facts right as to who is Mule Finseki as a head coach. And to do so, we're going to go to a man that we all follow on Twitter. And if you don't, you should. Opta Jabu, hopefully, will be able to get a hold of him before top of the hour so he can give us statistically in his coaching career as a senior coach, what has he been able to do 
from that point of view. Let's go to Sipo. Sipo's out in Soshanguva. Sipo, Kaza Chiefs, they've broken Anna. the internet. They've uh, uh, appointed a new coach. Andile. Mm. You never see, you never saw this coming. Mm. Personally, I saw it coming. Even. Uh, if you look at the game that Chiefs call fail, ne? Mm. you have Delhi Shepard wearing an earpiece. You have Mulifin Teki sitting with uh, Kazam Down Jr. taking notes. Delhi Shepard will have manga earpiece. Or oh, if if you said to me maybe what is the teacher, then I'd say yeah, this one I didn't see coming. So you expected Mulefensik? I expected that. Are you happy with it? Uh I'm 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 trying to to as 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 was the head coach at AI yeah, 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 multi choice. Mm. Ne? He promoted players. So he didn't have uh, like stability that in Chipo or Aka the young boys into the uh, the first team. So for now I think Mulifinte is there to assist or for na personally I'm thinking like Zwane Oko Puta no, these boys are good at and Mulifinte is gonna be the head coach and it's gonna be the good one. I'm just hoping for we get the result. Sipo, out in social group, I appreciated your voice notes, of course, on 60 Jason is out in Binoni. Jason. Yeah, ma'am. How are you there? I am good, man. Are you good? Are you happy? Are you a Corsi fan? Have you ever heard of a positional change? A positional change? Yeah. Tell me about it. Chiefs didn't appoint a coach. They just changed someone from management, the department coach. And this one must go back to, to where it belongs. But I mean, I, I, so, yeah. So it's like a joke. So Keza must just coach himself. So you might as well just do that or Keza Junior coach. What did Mulefi Zegi coach before any team? Just just mention one team that, that he coached, except Bafana Bafana. Are you serious? So you only knew of Mulefi Zegi at Bafana Bafana level? No, come on. He was only involved in development side. Not like a team whereby. We say Malik is in charge of uh, Chelsea goal central. No, he has never been the head coach of any team whatsoever. I'll tell you what, when I, Jason, because I, I think um, there's education that is needed uh, with a lot of us as well here, right? Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do? So what we're going to do is Mazola Malik is on his way here because I can see there's a lot of people asking questions about uh, Malik and Zeki and. You know what he's been doing, what he's done, etc. Hopefully, Opta Jabu will come in, but I know Mazola is going to be here in the next five minutes. He's actually driving to studio. Let's let, let, let's get into it, okay? <laughs> let's but get what into I'm, it. What we're saying is that this is a, just a joke, huge joke. So you you don't think he's he's worth being a coach of Kaiser Chiefs? Even on the first place, the position he was, he held even last season. He wasn't even supposed to do that. Just bring Dr. Kumara to coach the team. That's all. If you don't know what to do, because clearly they don't want to spend money to to hire proper coaches. Hmm. I hear you, Jason. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, uh, Jason. Out uh, uh, in PTA there. Let's go to Spongeleni out in Kaiserin. Spongeleni. Ma. Yeah, boy. Yes. Angian Puton. Hey, uh, I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, I take it you are too. You've got a new coach. Uh-huh. I'm very disappointed with the uh, HF management. I, I won't. I won't lie. Why? You see, ma, ma, uh, the team has struggled for the past nine years to win a silverware, and then you appoint someone who has never won even a coach in his career. And then you expect <laughs> him to win you something. Hmm. What is that? No, Chief but the management unfair. like to they like to take these shortcuts when it comes to decision making, and it's coming back to backfire to them. Shortcuts won't help you in football, Maha. We have seen in Mamelo the Sundowns how they restructured their team when they were struggling. 
and then look where they are now. In football, if you want good things, we have to spend, we have to get good quality. If you want the league, you must get someone who is able to win the league. Not if I find a I'm very disappointed in what I say. Hmm. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. You, um, can't, you can't gamble in such a big decision like this, my aunt. Because when these two coaches, who you know, others one, when they say, we won't blame them, they never won anything before as coaches. So how can you expect them to win you something? I trust in Gabon. Bongamina, thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate that there. Uh, Pro, I know you're still on the line. You're listening here. Remember that win, fourth sundown story, so replace your honey skins for Peter Musimani. So to say he has never won even a gold. It's unfair. And people forget that uh, Atazwane was Molefin Segi's assistant at Bafana Bafana. So these guys have been working together for, for, for a long time. So they must trust the process. They must uh, believe that Kesa uh, Chief Management knew what, know what they're doing. And uh, Molefin Segi, they, they must just get behind the coach and support the coach and, 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 and hope that the results will turn into their favor. Uh, this is the time that... Uh, Chiefs fans need to be positive for a change, and uh, they've been experiencing a lot of negativity. And let them unite and support the coach. All right, uh, as Pro Pilani, I mean, has he coached as a head coach in the DSTV Premiership uh, uh, at a senior level? Has he? I mean, this is the man that coaching at Bafana Bafana is bigger than. That's what I'm saying. This is the man that you know started in the junior levels at national team coach of Bafana Bafana 20 matches is what he's been able to do Mazola Malefa is here as well Mazola firstly your first reaction at Malefa Nseki is the head coach I know when I called you and we spoke about it when it just broke you know we were both uh, a little bit hesitant to say is it real uh, because we didn't see it necessarily coming yeah <laughs> I don't know how to explain how I my 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 initial reaction because that I'm entirely surprised. I, I wouldn't say I'm entirely surprised. I'll tell you what. This morning, when I uh, if you see our sabcsport.com portal, I wrote the story about Kune and Santi uh, getting uh, sort of new deals that are agreed in principle that mm. they would be staying. Yeah, and I was told uh, that the during the ne- negotiations with the players that are incoming and leaving. Muli Finzeki had been sitting in the room. Uh, in to, the negotiations. In the negotiations and the departures and all of that. and So that room would consist of uh, a Bobby, a Kaiser Junior, and a K- a maybe Kaiser Senior at, at, at some point. At some another. point. And uh, uh, the guy, Abdul, I think. And obviously is, the finance, uh, the, the finance, head of finance, yeah, yeah. you know. and But I couldn't risk my reputation in case I but get it Atha wrong. But was not in the room. But Coach Athazwani was not in the room. I couldn't risk... Uh, my reputation and say Mule Finzeki to be appointed head coach of Kaiser Chiefs when I didn't also believe it and then have egg <laughs> on my face, <laughs> you know. Uh, so when the announcement was made, think about it. Coach Nabi wanted his own technical team. At some point or another, the club then said to him, okay, go ahead, you can at least have two. But then at that point, you're not talking terms and packages and that sort of stuff. And when you factor that in, you consider that it could be quite expensive expensive to then uh, terminate Coach Athazwani's contract and perhaps there's a settlement involved or what have you. But think of it this way. Mulefin Zeki has been at the club since 2021 when Stuart Baxter was there. Uh, even the season that obviously a lot of people see as a disappointment. Coach Athazwani himself said he sees it as a disappointment to finish fifth with no trophies, a trophy drought that extends for another up to the eighth, eighth year now. Yeah. Mulefin Zeki is the head of technical, has had huge success with the junior national team. If you look at the uh, with the uh, youth, youth structures, if you look at the if you, if if you if you if you look at the junior national teams, mm. uh, n- not a single junior national team leaves out a Kaiser Chiefs player at the moment. It's a different story with the senior 
national team, Bafana, Bafana. But you look at the under-23, the under-20s, under-17s, uh, under-17s that competed at the recent uh, AFCON in Algeria at the moment. There are quite a number of Kaiser Chiefs. So he's had huge success and that's, that's what he does best. He has one year left on his contract. Because if you read the statement, the statement has no contract terms. So Mulefinseki is riding out the remainder of his year as head of technical, which now has subsequently become him as head coach. I would think that that's a new contract. If that's a new con- I've seen how Chiefs do contracts. I've written about it for years. This is the first statement that I see Kaiser Chiefs put out and they do not put the, 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 the contract terms of a, of a new coach. First in many moons, since the days of Stuart Baxter in 2012. Do you think this is, and Pro, this, this extends to you as well. Do you think that this move was a panic move? I don't think I don't think it was a panic move. It's a panic I mean, move. Uh, it's a panic move because bro. the coach has been there, and uh, he, he's been observing as a technical director. Yeah, but so if you've been talking to other coaches there. while he's there, because he's been there all along, but you've been talking to other coaches, now all of a sudden you go, oh, you know what, Mulefe? Could it be? I mean, and I hear you. It, it could be a matter of you know we've always had a good coach. Why are we looking around because we've got a good coach here? But you think it's a panic move? I think it's a panic move, and this is not to put question marks on Coach Nzeki's credentials. As I've said, I, I rate him highly. I think what he's done with the youth structure is unbelievable. Panic move in the sense that they had been in negotiations with uh, Nasreddin Nabi, but they couldn't agree on two simple things. Well, maybe maybe more. I, I don't know the finer details of everything, but what I do know for a hand, with absolute certainty, with I speak with authority, the coach wanted his technical team and obviously the terms of employment and his 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 wages but with coach Nteki, perhaps there's not a lot of that involved he's been in the structure think back to steve Rompela leaving kaiser chiefs kaiser chiefs in talks uh, with an egyptian coach who after accepting the terms of employment took a job at in in egypt with pyramids uh, chiefs players are coming back for pre-season they are without a coach who do they hire Giovanni Solinas, who comes out of nowhere and lasts at the club for six months, then subsequently being replaced uh, by Ernst Middendorp uh, in, in December after only being at the club for four or five months. So this has all the ha- hallmarks of that situation there where Kaiser Chiefs are in negotiation with a coach to replace Athazwane for weeks on end, at least at least three virtual meetings. By the way, Coach Nabi has not been to South Africa to have conversation with Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, his, his representation, yeah. uh, who is in South Africa at the moment even still, was handling the talks, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. You know? So you have that and it completely breaks down because Kaiser Chiefs insist on Coach Nabi having Afazwani in his technical team along with, as you would see now with the statement, Dylan Shepard, who's currently in Ireland doing his um, uh, coaching badges. Uh, so that suggests to me, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, to nail down Coach Nteki as the head coach was something that was suddenly just uh, done this week because players are doing medicals and they are coming back next week for preseason. So panic. I mean, Coach Nteki's name did come up when uh, Stuart Baxter was getting fired, and there were there were reports that he 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 turned down initially earlier this season when he was asked. There were reports that when he was asked to uh, take over as the head coach, he, he refused. refused. So now maybe he feels he has the the opportunity to start preseason and prepare better. But remember, Coach Nteki initially was coming as coach to Baxter's assistant coach. And then suddenly with Kaiser Jr. becoming the sporting director, the roles were changed. Uh, Arthur Zwani was, and Dylan Shepard were his assistant coaches and Coach Nteki became head of technical. Let's take a quick break. It's uh, 6.41. Taking your calls as well as your voice notes. They hear. Yeah, you were mentioning him. He heard you. He came to studio. Pro Pilani is on the line as well. You know, Pro had come on for something different, but we've had to ambush him because this is breaking news. You can't ignore it. Hey, my, uh, I think Chiefs did a good job. Good job. Good job. I, I didn't uh, I understand that guy that was being brought in during the whole contingent. At Pirates, they have the Spanish guitar. How many people did he bring in? Why should the coach succeed because he brings the old, his own contingent? If he's a good guy, he needs to do what he's supposed to do. But as a buccaneer, maybe for me, Muli Finzeki. Good, good job, uh, Keza Chiefs. Alala. Eh, Tama, ah. Sapilan Jan, Muli Zlapok Pro. Eh, Tama, Pro. Eh, Bon, eh, Chiefs. The Betty Lezanda. Takunga, I'm big out, you must act. So by actually let's give Uta 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 Nzeki a chance. Simbonel. But that alone, una una ingondo e bola. Ukochile. 
kuma level zo nka hlonu phekaya futhi masimnikeni chance utatu unse ikitoho asa belief siyacela masingamjudge masingamjudge ndiyacela le ndoda le kudala ipawu chief yaya culture hc uzwane ukhona konke nje kuhle man ke sibanike zeni chance man ba actile kulungile kuba bevele bathula be kuzoba njani let's guys just give them a chance thanks very much ma uhla ngamandla ra sindoda Hey Andy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, uh, you know, um, yeah, no, well done to the coach, you know. Uh, I think, as we said, it, it's continuity, at least they're keeping uh, Mangete there. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, <laughs> they'll, work, uh, they'll work well together, you know. Uh, all the best for <laughs> the upcoming season. <laughs> Uh, good evening, uh, Andela Johnson uh, in Bombella. Look, um, I'm not a pessimist. I am very optimistic about this appointment. People are seeing it uh, differently. Uh, others are seeing it the other way, which is fine. But if, as for me, with the continuity, uh, I believe we will build something out of this. He's highly qualified, I must say that. So, yeah, I'm excited. I can't be pessimistic about it. I'm honest about it. I hope uh, the MTN8 will come to Nigeria as early as September. Thank you. Hey, look at that uh, optimism. It's, it's a brilliant thing. It's 6.46 on the Mighty Matrix FM. Breaking news. Kaiser Chiefs. I'm not going to read your guys' tweets. Uh, I don't want to get fired. Uh, no, I can't read some of these. Uh, so, no, it's fine. I'll listen to... Everybody else um, that's saying, yeah, no, I'm not reading this. But zero eight six double zero zero two one six zero. What are they saying? Ah, well, I like my job. Me, <laughs> talk to me. With the question of the credibility of Mule Fenteke, you're mm-hmm. saying, hey, he's done well. But the question is, this is a different battle altogether. Kaiser Chiefs cannot be the first team that you're coaching at this level in this manner. I understand. I've seen some of the comments from from the fans, obviously the the voice notes and the calls, and I understand where they're coming from. You, it almost feels like you're going backwards. I mean, you must check Gavin Hunt's tweet. I don't know if it's in reference to the. What the, did Gavin say? Let me find he's it. He's put laughing emojis and he says, "Yeah, ne." Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Um. So this is it, it can be seen potentially i mean we don't we don't know how this is going to turn out you know and, and, and you have to remind people the same way we were questioning uh jose ribeiro's uh, uh, uh cv when he arrived we didn't know how it was going to turn out we were basically just looking at his cv what he had done in the past and the man turned out yes still 16 points from sundowns but he won two trophies and finished second coming to chiefs you have brought in Nteki on a three-year contract in july uh, to be head of technical and youth, which means his entire focus is the development structures, which by all accounts, if you look at the reports, he's done extremely, extremely well. To then subsequent to that, two years later, hire him as your head coach when you had uh, built up this idea that uh, Coach Athazwani was going to take you places. It, I mean, I, I, I'd, I'd be surprised to hear anyone else, may, maybe with the exception of Chiefs management saying this is this isn't somewhat seen as going backwards to to some degree he the coach may still surprise us and do very well but he come in at a, as a head of technical head of youth two years later he's the head coach gavin hunt tweeting with four laughing emojis and yeah but he's since deleted that tweet as coach <laughs> gavin hunt pro what do you make of Athaswane and dylan shepherd staying in those roles i mean i don't know about you but to now have to assist from an Athaswane point of view, I can't imagine that that, that working relationship is going to be great. Uh, honestly speaking, to Andy, that working relationship will continue uh, as it was for the past season, purely because these guys have been working together. A lot of people believe that uh, Mole Fintzegi was far away from the first team. He, he, in actual fact, he was there, he was assisting, he was helping wherever he was. He was far away, he was, bro. he was far away from the senior team. But let but, me let but, you speak. Uh, from, but from, I can what, tell you, I can tell you um, with no fear or favor, he was far away from the senior team. So then, but, you don't see them working but, well but, together. But we know that there's a working relationship between the three gentlemen, and uh, Nzegi is there 
and the other one will be there to support. And I've seen that they've also brought back uh, Urena as an, as an advisor in the coaching department, meaning that Oprima Tibe uh, will also be learning from the from the goalkeeping grade that was there kind of just before. So you can see that they are strengthening the, te- the technical team, maybe not the way uh, the fans expect or not the way that um, a lot of people would love to. But uh, the gentlemen that are coming in, I'm sure they're going to have chips going forward. He, he he was far away. I mean, if 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 he was that close to the situation, you consider uh, the reports. I think it was um, Sokala Duma who also reported that uh, Mulifin Teki at some point during the season was offered uh, the maybe not offered the job per se, but offered to sit on the bench with Athazoani, and and he declined. If if they were working so closely together, why would he decline to sit alongside Atha on the bench for the remainder of the season to help improve the synergy? Uh, with how they're working together between the youth team and the senior team and to get better results i i i'm convinced he was he was far away and unless they are they they've decided to mend the relationship the chiefs are on hiding to nothing next season so you 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 from what you are saying and i hear what pro is saying as well and i mean we we can never know for sure but what you're saying is you don't think there's a cordial working relationship between Atazwane and Mulefintek? Not last season. Not last season. Without if it is, it's a new thing. If it They've is, it's mended. A, if it is, there's been enough time. Obviously, Coach Arthur has been made well aware that he is going to be demoted to return to his position as assistant coach and Mulefintek taking over. And if uh, Coach Intek has, ag- has agreed, obviously, as the statement suggests, then they have to have. Uh, worked out any animosity that there was was there between the two of them to for 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 it in the best interest of the club. But I can tell you without fear or favor, he was far away from the first. Hmm. Team. Let's go to Zola. Zola's out uh, in Cape Town. Oh, Zola, terribly sorry there uh, for that. Deceiver, uh, that was you. So you're gonna have to try and see if you can call us back. Clement out in uh, Johannesburg CBD. Clement. Hey. 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 Ah, no, I'm not. Ah, uh, that's that. Ooh. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, first time caller. We've got a first time caller. Clement, don't make it be your last. Malcolm, you're late with it. <laughs> there we go. Clement's also. Oh, ring boy. Oh, I'm Why is Ah, Clement, I'm terribly sorry, man. Our line is just not the greatest, but let me go now to my ogre, uh, Cabello GP out in Pretoria. Cabello? I want to greet you. We greet you. No wahala happening here. My brother, let me tell you something. Mm. I am so happy that we have uh, our head coach, the person that was there already, in, they know, you know when you are the, um, I don't know why they call it in English, uh, when you have the cows and you, every morning you take your cows out to go and eat, you know them, you know which direction they are taking. No, now, everybody that is, now Coach Rabi is coming there, he wants to bring his own supporters. I was worried for my life that this guy, if he brings his own supporters, I will not have my team again. So I want to urge every supporter of Kaiser Chiefs, let us support uh, our head coach, our assistant, and everybody. Now we are bringing, even though they don't want to tell us who they sign, we know who they sign. So as a Kaiser Chiefs supporter, I'm happy. I'm going to support him. I'm going to support everybody. That's the attitude. I can't even wait to buy my kappa. That's the case that she's for me. My brother, I want to thank you. Today, I'm going to mix Malana. I'm going to mix the Kilana. I'm going to mix Bright Park. I will mix it so that I can eat. I'm happy. That is the attitude, Cavello. Thank you so much. Pro, with that being said, I mean, that was our initial conversation in the first place. Uh, what do we know about what Chiefs have done in the market? Um, at, the, at the present moment, uh, we know that they have signed Umtu uh, Tuzum Tantane. And uh, we know that they've signed Udo from Sports United. We know that they've signed Udo And we know that uh, they are also releasing player. Nagy has been released. Uh, and that he has to, he has to join. Oh, the, pro, this line he, again. 
Uh, not the greatest there. Let's just uh, put Pro down there. Uh, that line, not the best. Let's play some voice notes and hopefully, hopefully by the time we take your calls on 086-0002160, uh, we can squeeze a couple more in before Faith comes in. Remember, she's between 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Uh, I haven't gone to Chiefs game since... <laughs> <laughs> I was one was appointed because I was against that. And I'm still against Molifinseke. We're not going to win anything. So, uh, Chiefs can kiss my money goodbye. I was going to buy their t shirt tomorrow, but I'm not anymore. So, they can just, I don't know. Maybe they need to retire or sell the team. Um, hi, ma- oh. yeah, hi, hi, hi. Yeah. Ukashi with Mazu, Tichimpi, Koro Plumbar, where any team and the show. Ah, where the citizens of Tasha, oh, Pagi, MP, Nago, Walile, Shorty says Tasha, Ulindi, P, Nago, Andile. I have just one thing for you, my friend. If a timer, Ukaza does not wake up. He will find himself like Ucho Moson. Can run a football club and a family totally. That is where the whole thing gets to crumble. Makeza Chiefs. If they're not careful, they're going to be the second cosmos. Nandile, how do you bring this man to develop? You don't develop with the first team. The first team is not for developing. You develop maybe in uh, the multi-choice league, but not in the first team. In the first team, this is this stuff. Chiefs is playing is not good, man. This this stuff is going to end, end up. He's going to put them in multiple league. I'm telling you. Nah, Tabiso. Thanks, Tabiso. Thanks, We'll get to you in a bit. It's six fifty-six. I'm wondering, you know, as we're saying with Masola, was it a bit of a panic for Kaiser Chiefs? Um, Pro, terribly sorry, man. The lines aren't great at the moment, and I think that's why um, we want to go uh, the voice note route. If you don't know who Cedric Kaze is, he's a former Young Africans assistant coach. He's a man that, alongside Coach Nabi, won the double treble. Yeah. He's yeah. the man that we were going to talk to on the show today because we're going to welcome him to South Africa because we're going to say, hey, when are you guys coming? Because we're expecting <laughs> that uh, Coach Cedric Kaze would be appointed alongside Coach Nabi. We wanted to get a little bit more about who they are as a duo. Coach Nabi initially wanted a, a, a full backroom staff. He mm. wanted an assistant coach. He wanted a goalkeeper coach. And, you know, people that he would be comfortable, just as Coach Pito said when he was here, you, you can't go to... Uh, a, a, a club the size of Kaiser Chiefs and not bring your own people. I mean, Coach Jose Ribeiro has done it. Yes, Coach Mandlang because he stayed behind, but he's brought in an assistant coach and and I believe uh, a fitness coach and uh, may perhaps a couple of uh, other uh, backroom uh, support. What's uh, your headline for this appointment? Oof. Chiefs going backwards. No, no, I'm being too harsh. But I, I think it's a pa- it's a it's a panic appointment, but with question marks. Panic appointment with question marks. Chiefs panic. Chiefs panic, question mark. Hmm. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, uh, Timmy is under the desk right now trying to make the calls. Uh, we're supposed to speak to Mr. Cedric Kazi to tell us what went wrong. But uh, looking at the time now, it's not going to be possible. Thank you so much for trying, though, Timmy. Uh, Lions not great today. What a horrible day for Lions to be horrible. Yeah. What's your last one on this one? On the appointment of Mteki. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> look, uh, the proof is in the pudding. Um, if you look at his, does he finish top four? Uh, it's 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 too early. I mean, it's too early to 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 put my head on the chopping block. You have to wait to see all the signings. I want to see how many signings they've made. If they're gonna add quality that Coach Athazwane did not have, um, and based on that, I'll make a prediction before the season starts. But again, su- surprising decision by by the biggest club, arguably on the continent. Sport at ten this evening. Do you know who Vincent Ndungere is? If you don't know, you're about to find out. He's got the biggest trophies I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen trophies that big. He's going to be with us on Sport 10 on SABC 1 this evening. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Watch out for sabcsport.com for the very latest and maybe even things that you didn't know about this appointment. Mazala Malef at Pro Pilani. And everybody that listens to the show, including our lights, camera, action guys, we really appreciate it. Pela, pela. And so me.